DHT gang, what is good? Notification gang, what is good? First things and foremost, man, if you're enjoying 2K20, drop a like on this video right now. I, I know it's been a minute, I know I ain't uploaded in a minute, but look, check me out, bro. I had to, you know, I had to make sure that this was the build, all right? Now, I know the build that I posted during the demo, that, that wasn't it. You know what I'm talking about? I know what I want to do, and, and y'all, I'm telling y'all, bro, this build that I made, it fits me perfectly. It might not fit you. It might not fit you, or it might not fit you over there. But it, hey, this is dynamic skills build for 2K20. Now, before we jump into this video, me and the DHC gang are gonna give away a copy of 2K20 on September the 18th. If you wanna know any further information about that, click the link down in the description below. Shout out to my boy, Respect the King, by the way. But, uh, say, man, say, man. Check out my 2K20 build, bro. I'll let y'all, man, in that video good game. A nigga like me, man, I love the game. I love the hustle, man. Be feeling like one of them ball playing niggas, you know? Like Bird, Magic, or something. Yeah, you know, a nigga got dough. A nigga could leave the league. But if I leave, the fans still gonna love me, man? has had 50% defense, 50% playmaking, 25% shooting, and 25% finishing. All right, guys, now for my physical profile, I chose this pie chart right here. Definitely want speed, definitely need acceleration, and definitely need strength as a defender because most of these guards are going to be like 6'2", 6'3", 6'4", and if you got that strength on you, bro, you're going to cause a lot of havoc, especially with Hall of Fame defensive badges. Now for my height, I went 6'6". Weight, I went 199 pounds, wingspan default, and I chose shot creator takeover, y'all. All right, guys, here goes the bread and butter of the build, the attributes. Guys, this is what makes my build so unique and so different. Check me out. Now, as you guys can see, we're going to start off with the drive and layup and a drive and dunk, which is a 73 and a 76. That's not bad at all. Even though I only have one finishing badge, I will still be able to get to the rack because I'm going to put contact finisher on bronze. You know what I'm saying? I don't need post hook, don't need standing dunk, and I, I definitely don't need a close shot since I'm a uh, point guard. You know what I'm saying? So, all right. My mid-range maxes out to a 72, three-point shot 66, free throw 82, post fade 72. With Hall of Fame, well, I don't get Hall of Fame shooting badges. I'm sorry. My, my fault, guys. With gold difficult shots, gold catch and shoot, silver dead eye, gold quick draw, I should be able to knock down shots when I'm open. Y'all know I don't really shoot contested anyway. I always make open shots. You know what I'm saying? Now, for my passing accuracy, ball handling, that is everything that I need to get my teammates open. Now, this build is to get my teammates open and play defense, create offense off my defense. And if I do get open for a shot, I will be able to cash out. All right, now, you guys can see my defense, bro. I really don't have to explain that, bro. I am a monster. I will have Hall of Fame badges, and it's going to be crazy. All right, now for my defensive badges, Hall of Fame clamp is a must, makes me a better defender on the perimeter. Hall of Fame intimidator. 
increases the shot contest. Oh my God. Pickpocket Hall of Fame. I don't really spam that much, but look, if I catch you slipping, bro, I'm telling you right now, it's a GG. Pick Dodger Hall of Fame. Bro, this first week of 2K has been crazy. All niggas do is set screens. Pick Dodger as a defender, guys, is a must, and I have to have it. Uh, one of the most slept on badges, Trapper. Guys, that badge, when you push up against the defender, oh, man, it's tough. It's the GG, bro. And I'm sitting here debating whether to put Heart Crush on Silver or should I get Brick Wall on Silver because Brick Wall is the new Bruiser. It's like Brick Wall and Bruiser is in the same uh, category. You know what I'm saying? And then, of course, Child is depending on Bronze because I have been losing a lot of energy chasing these guards. You know what I'm saying? But these are my defensive badges, guys. And I'm telling you right now, bro, it's going to be real tough for you, bro. I ain't even going to lie, dog. All right, guys, now for my playmaking badges. I'm not trying to be a dribble head. I'm not trying to dribble the whole shot clock or do anything like that. You guys know my play style. I actually have IQ, and I am very effective on the court with my IQ and my decision making. Dimer Hall of Fame. Floor General is a one of the most slept on offensive badges in the game. I'm actually going to make a video about that. All right, make sure you turn on notifications, by the way. Floor General is going to boost my teammates' offensive attributes by four while I'm on the court. And I'm telling you guys, if you want to be effective, you want to be a team player, that badge needs to go Hall of Fame. Handles for day, silver, live city passer, bronze, quick first step, goal, Unpluckable Hall of Fame because I don't dribble that much and I damn sure don't want to get spammed, all right? Tight handles, bronze, needle threader, gold, so you can get those dots to your teammates when they can cash out with that Hall of Fame diamond. You feel me? All right, now for the shooting part, just in case I do get open, by the looks of these badges right here, bro, bro I'm telling you right now, that I'm going to be able to cash out. With jump shot boost and all that good. Hey, I'm gonna be able to I'm gonna be able to cash out. I'm telling you right now, you might be like, oh what well, D no, you need no, I'm telling you right now. I have shot credit takeover. So if I got shot credit takeover with gold difficult shots, I'm I'm I will probably put dead eye on bronze and put catch and shoot on gold, and that's gonna make me even more effective right there. Quick draw gold, dead eye silver. I'm telling you right now, bro. Just watch the gameplay, man. I <laughs> Watch me work, bro. Now, for my finishing badge, I didn't want to put the picture on the screen because I only have one finishing badge. I went ahead and went with contact finisher, guys. That's going to allow me to get to the rack, you know what I'm saying, effectively. And it, it, it really does work. So I thought I had to have it on gold or a Hall of Fame or silver, but it works on bronze. Real nigga shit. So, there you have it. This is my NBA 2K20 build. Pass first point guard. Lockdown God. Because with my IQ and with the decision making, I'm telling you guys, you're going to rather have a guard like me on your team than to have a fucking guard who want to sit there and dribble the whole goddamn shot clock away and then pass the ball right at the end. It, it, you know, you really don't want that, bro. So this is my build in RRL. This is my build for 2K20. I'm enjoying it. I, 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 I really do enjoy this, guys. I'm going to be bringing a lot of gameplay, a lot of gameplay for you guys this year, man. Like I said, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like on the video. Let me know what you made in 2K20. Let me know if you're enjoying 2K20, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If any one of you guys make my build, let me know. And down in the comment section, let me know how you like it. This is your boy, Dynamic Skills, signing out. I love you guys. And let's go crazy. DXG on top, all 2K20, you dig?